what's up youtubers i uh, thought i'd do a little quick review on my uh 7800 pro series craftsman 42 inch cut riding lawnmower yeah i kind of been on a mower buying rampage here in the last month uh my old equipment kind of had seen its time and it was time to upgrade thought i'd kind of go over this pro series and uh give you my review on it uh so far she's only got a uh, Let's look here now. What does she got now? Uh, she's got 0.2 hours. I don't know if you can see that or not, but 0.2 hours basically just pulling in the garage and putting gas in it. But anyway, uh, we'll do a little ride, ride along on it and review. But uh, I've owned Craftsman mowers for riding mowers for years, and uh, I've always kind of odd at the Pro Series, and I finally decided this time that's the direction i'm going to go i kind of go over some real differences i've noticed in them you know in fact uh i'll show you i'm i'm definitely a craftsman mower buyer uh we got a this is a 38 3000 this is a this is a 2000 uh 2013 yeah 2012 2013 it's got a uh 22 horsepower Craftsman Platinum, which is a Briggs motor. Then I've got this one here, and this is a, I believe this is an 06. I believe that's what it looks like. It might say on the inside. Anyway, she's a, uh, uh, she's 10, 12 years old. Uh, you kind of see she's she's had it. Um, I say that it's got 22 horsepower single cylinder crawler in it that is uh still going strong amazingly it's probably got five six hundred hours on it it's got the solid uh hydrostatic transmission um really good mower here this one here this uh 2012 not so much um had a lot of problems with it it's had the transmission replaced on it twice it's got one of them plastic variable drives not a fan at all don't like the way they drive and uh, they don't hold up in fact that's why i purchased a new one it's uh going out again and uh it's it just got low low hours on it and uh i figure i'll just craigslist it and let somebody else mess with it i mean it's got a good solid it's got a good solid engine in it. I mean, it's got that twin Briggs in it that's got low hours on it, so 22 horsepower. So it's got a value to it, but uh, I need something to hold up better. But a couple of things I really didn't like about this one is look how high that that is. It wear my knee out having to hold my my leg up. It's just in an uncomfortable place unless you got a size 16 foot. It's you end up having to hold your foot up on it. You can't rest your heel down on the base. Um, a couple other things I didn't like. I don't like where the uh, the PTO engages on it. Um, like I said, the tra plastic transmission. Uh, not a real fan of that one. Now let's go over to this Pro Series. I'll show you the things that you know that make it a Pro Series. And uh, and seriously, you can tell they really thought it out when they when they made this Pro Series. Uh, one thing is you'll notice the decking, even though it's still a press deck. It's definitely manufactured much better. It's got extra support in there. It looks, appears to be a thicker deck. It's got a definitely heavier hubs on it. I like the way they did the belt system so the grass doesn't clump up in it. If you can see right there on that. Same on this side. I, I love the way they set those up. It actually even goes through so the grass shouldn't pile up too bad there at all. It's got a deck wash system. It's got reinforcement on this side. Um, the, the mounts are all heavily welded on there. I mean, you could just tell the difference between this and the standard series of Craftsman riding mowers. On top of that, um, the Pro Series has got the 7000 Elite Series crawler, which I've read nothing but good reviews about that. It's got a really good air filter. It's got a spin on oil filter. Uh, this is a 20 horsepower here and i don't think you can go wrong with that all for this size 42 deck 
Um, 20 horsepower should be more than sufficient. Uh, she seems to run really good too. Um, of course, it's got the, the real hydrostatic metal transmission in it, which I've got that one there. It's 10, 12 years old, still running strong. Definitely the way to go. Don't go with that plastic transmission, folks. Even if you don't get the Pro Series, do not get anything but hydrostatic, either that or just manual shift. But stay away from that plastic CVT or whatever they call it. That thing is junk. I like where they set up the uh, PTO engagement. It's set up here. Much nicer place for it. Of course, it's got your iron meter. It's got the reverse mo if you need to. I like the new throttle setup. It's more heavy duty. Love where they put the gas tank at. Which, by the way, it's got a really large gas tank. I believe they said it's a three gallon. Or three and a half. Now look at the size of that. And I like where they placed it. I, I love this we're here. It's a much neater place to uh, be able to pour instead of having to lift the hood and try to pour underneath the hood. Easy access there. Of course, it's got a little side gauge here so you can see when you need gas. It's just as easy to open the hood. That and I really like the color of the Pro. I have to say, this is a definitely a, a step up. You know, I, I, for the for the three to four hundred extra you pay for a Pro, I'm telling you, this is the way to go. Oh, and look at this. See the drive? See how it's positioned? That's perfect for your foot. See how smooth that is? So you're not going to be having to, you're not going to have leg fatigue. Your heel will set down there, and it's like a car gas pedal. Drive really nice, and they got it set up both ways on that. And I know it's even the cruise line much better. It's just a Basically, the Pro Series, from what I can tell, is just a beefier Craftsman riding lawnmower all the way around. It's got all the good points of mowers I've had in the past with none of the bads. It's got the heavier deck. It's got the easy clean out for the grass dung clump. It's got the nice pedals for the stop and go as far as the height and the, and the grips on it. It's got the right place for the PTO takeoff. Deck spring assisted. Um, good crawler engine, twin cylinder in it. Uh, it's got the high back seat. It's got the battery under the seat. It's got the expanded size gas tank. It's got the nicer wheel. It's got cushioned wheel. I mean, like I said, we'll take a little ride on it, but I think for the extra three or 400 that you pay, Pro Series is definitely the way to go. Now let's take a little ride and mow on it. There you go folks look at the nice cut this does There's no doubt about it, this craftsman pro series is one heck of a nice mower look how clean that cut is anyway um hope you enjoyed this little short review i just thought uh people would like to know a little bit about this yes i bought a zero turn and a and a <laughs> and a 42 inch rider but they both have their places uh this 42 inch rider is really good for uh in yards where the gates are close and everything and uh the zero turns more for a uh, uh, big property of course you know i've got a big 52 inch deck on it so it's more for a uh, open area and around trees out in large pieces of uh, acreage whereas this is more for tight around in the you know residential yards and stuff and they, they both have a place out here